Good day everyone, my name is Dominic. I work with Oracle JDBC related products here at Oracle. The following video provides an overview of the Oracle UCP logging, different ways to enable it and how it works. We'll also discuss UCP loggers and logging levels followed by a quick demo. In addition, we'll also see how to use JConsole to fetch UCP configuration at runtime. Please note, this applies to production releases up to 21C. Logging framework have changed as of 23C. By using the hyphen D Java option, in the system properties, or calling the Java Util Logging API from your application, you can enable UCP logging. To enable the UCP logging, use this hyphen D option to pass the logging details like handler, logger, logging levels, etc. If you choose the programmatic approach, those handlers, logger, logging levels should be set at the API level. Please make sure that Oracle JDBC driver jar and UCP jar are of the same version. And they are compatible to your JDK and database versions. Oracle UCP provides different loggers. As you can see here, Oracle UCP JDBC, Oracle UCP admin, Oracle UCP. To get all the logger contents, you should use Oracle UCP logger. Oracle UCP provides different logging levels to control the log content generation. The logging level ranges from severe to finest. Logging levels lower than fine produces large log volume. This is a sample UCP logging properties file. It uses maximum logging and it uses the file handler and it uses UCP formatter, which is specific to UCP and the file name defined here as UCP log. This is a demo code that we are going to use This demo code creates a connection pool with the name demo logger pool. In this demo, we are going to generate UCP logging with properties file. For this demo, we are going to use Oracle 1918 libraries. The class path is set for 1918 JDBC driver and UCP jar file. We are going to compile the Java program and we are going to run the program with iPhone D option. We are basically passing the properties file using the hyphen D option. You can see the log file UCP log generated and the internal content looks like this. This is a sample code that shows how to enable UCP logging through API calls. Here, we are using file handler, we are using the logger Oracle UCP, and we are using simple formatter. In this demo, we are going to generate UCP logs using API calls. For this demo, we are using 1918 libraries. The class path is pointing to 1918 JDBC jar and UCP jar file. If you compile the program, I'll, while running, you can see we are not passing iPhone D option and passing login properties because all are embedded in the code. And you can see the log content is identical to the previous one. This is what it looks like. In this demo, we are going to see how to use JConsole to access UCP configurations. In this demo, we are setting certain properties. One is a pool name and the initial pool size, minimum pool size and maximum pool size, and the SQL for validation, and we are enabling the FCF. In this demo, we intentionally ONS configurations were not specified. So when the program runs, you may see an exception, but you can ignore that. We have two command prompts. One is to run the Java code, and other to start the JConsole. And once it is started, we can connect to the Java process.
using mbeans we should be able to see the list of operations that are that are allowed using the get name we should be able to see the pool name and you should you can see other operations that are allowed for the pool we can see initial pool size minimum pool size and maximum pool size for that pool and there are different timeouts available in UCP you can see their values through this and if you're using sharding we can check whether it's enabled or not there is a useful API called get statistics that gives properties and their values this is helpful to diagnose a runtime issue. If you're using Affinity, you can see their configuration details. In the program, we set uh, SQL to validate a connection, so that's available. If you're using YNS configuration, you can see through this API. In this case, we didn't set anything. That's the reason why we got an error. And there are other APIs to, to check the RCLB and FCF. Please refer to this resource page for more details. Thank you for watching.